if I found out that I worked with a kidnapper, a sexual batterer, a monster, man, I'd be kind of freaked out. Do you know who's not freaked out? Cops. They're used to that. They work with guys like that all the time. Here's one. Or a violent attack on his ex-girlfriend. His own agency put him in handcuffs and caused the allegations trouble. NBC6's Marissa Bag is live outside the Metro Justice Building where the officer was in court today. Marissa? That's right, and the officer is suspended without pay at this hour. As you mentioned, he went before a judge here at the Metro Justice Building earlier today. We do want to warn you, some of the details of this case are just incredibly graphic and disturbing. Do you understand the stay away order, sir? From upholding the law to breaking it, a Miami-Dade police officer is in jail, accused of a horrendous attack. 32-year-old Miguel Lomelli is charged with burglary, kidnapping, and sexual battery. Detectives say he followed his ex-girlfriend home from a Buffalo Wild Wings in Homestead early Wednesday morning. According to the arrest report, the two were arguing, and when she got out of her car, he allegedly grabbed her by the hair, dragged her into her home, and sexually assaulted her on the stairs. Based on the serious nature of the charges, no bonds on count one, no bonds on count two, the kidnapping charge, and no bonds on count three, the armed burglary. Detectives say the victim tried calling 911 using Siri on her phone, and when that didn't work, she screamed for her 12-year-old son to help her. That's when Lomeli left the scene. Now he's in jail, and if he gets out, the judge ordered he stay away from her. No contact with the victim through social media or other electronic means, and you must stay at least 500 feet away from the victim, her home, and school, and place of employment at all times. Lomeli spent six years with Miami-Dade Police and was assigned to the Uniform Patrol Unit in the South District. Miami-Dade Police Director Stephanie Daniels released a statement today saying in part, there is no place for betrayal of public trust of any kind in the Miami-Dade Police Department. The allegations of misconduct by one of my officers is extremely troubling and immediate action has been taken to hold the officer accountable. And detectives say that Lomelli was in uniform driving his police cruiser and even had his police issued firearm, a firearm on him at the time of this incident. They also say they have a recording of him admitting to the allegations. The fact they actually didn't fire him immediately says a lot. Just another corrupt cop, no big deal. Miguel Lomeli, what a loser.